Amazon ECS or Elastic Container Service. So first, you need to create the cluster. And now, in order to launch a task or a service, first you need to create the task definition in ECS. So let's go to our cluster. And then, but we need to create the task definition here. And let's create a new task definition. So because my cluster is based on EC2, I will choose EC2 here, the compatibility, and then next step. So in this case, I want to create a task for running an NFS server on Amazon ECS. So I will make a name for this. My task is NFS model, and task role is optional. But if you want to access Amazon or AWS services, then you will need to create a task role here. Network mode can be default. Task execution role, uh, ECS will create this for you. And this task memory and CPU is used for uh, allocating the tasks in the cluster, but it's optional. The most mandatory one is that you need to create a container here. So I want to use a container called uh, NFS Server Alpine from its network. It's a very popular NFS server with 500k poles. So all we have to do is that run this uh, Docker container in the uh, Docker service like Amazon ECS or Kubernetes. So let's see that I will need to copy the name of the container. There are usually options uh, in the readme or in the text here. But I will choose the default one. So I'll put this in the image container name. I will also put the container name here. Just uh, this is, you can choose anything, but I usually recommend that the name of the container is uh, similar or the same as the name of the Docker image. So uh, we need to we will need to put either a hard limit or soft limit. I will put the soft limit maybe three hundred megabytes. And port mapping. So usually a Docker service will expose something over uh, a port. So in this case, NFS is using port uh, 2049. So I will expose that port to the host using the same port. Okay, and uh, everything else is usually optional. Okay, but now we have environment variables. It is used to configure the Docker container so for example, usually we have like credentials and uh, configuration for folders and so on. So in this case, the NFS server Alpine has a configuration for environment variable shared directory. So this is the directory that will be shared to the NFS uh, client. So I want to put this here. And I'll say that my shared directory is uh, slash mnt slash model data. I will mount this uh, folder or create this folder later when running, uh, before running the task in the EC2 instance. And then I will enable uh, logging. Okay. So, okay, I need to have a mount point here. And I will create a mount point later, but because now I don't have a mount point yet. Okay, and it's done. Okay, so then I will need to create a volume. And the source path is from Google data. Okay, this is the path in the host. Okay, after I've uh, made my volume here, I will go back to the container. 
and then I will make sure that I uh, can use that volume in the container. So I'll we'll create here, or maybe just to make things uh, simpler, so it is different. I will make the container part is only slash Moodle data. So and this way the shared directory is just Moodle data. So slash mnt becomes uh, the one in the host and in the Docker container itself. The path from the for the mount point is just slash Moodle data. Okay, and then we are ready to save and we can then run the task in the ECS cluster. We can create, and it's done, and we can also see the uh, JSON for this task definition. So it makes it easier to create the task definition later. If you want to edit the task definition, we are not able to edit the task definition. What we can do is create a new revision and then run the new task using the next revision. Okay. So that's it. And next, we will try to run a task uh, using this task definition.